Navy has seen a long decline in warship numbers over the decades, most notably following the end of the Cold War. The 2010 Strategic Defense Review saw the total number of destroyers and frigates, by then down to 23, fall further to just 19. However, as part of an announced uplift in defense spending in November 2021, Prime Minister Boris Johnson said he wanted the UK to be the foremost naval power in Europe. That ambition implicitly included the intention to reverse the fleet's decline and increase it to at least 24 ships by the first half of the 2030s. These would include the new Type 26 and Type 31 frigates, and a newly announced design, the Type 32. These aspirations were reinforced in the March 2021 Integrated Review of Security, Defense, Development and Foreign Policy and the accompanying Defense Command paper. Speaking in March 2021, the then first Sea Lord and professional head of the Royal Navy, and now the Chief of the Defence Staff, Admiral Sir Tony Radokin, also stressed that the fleet was growing in size and reach, although his calculations were chiefly based on the arrival of the 265,000-ton Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers. Beyond that, another pillar supporting the Royal Navy's ambitions was a refreshed national shipbuilding strategy, with a supposed 30-year shipbuilding pipeline. This strategy was the focus of the HCDC's interest. The Secretary of State for Defense, Ben Wallace, and senior naval officers faced questions on whether government and industry would be able to deliver on the plan. One of the concerns raised was that the first of three critical new auxiliaries, the Fleet Solid Support Ships FSSs, would not be ready as planned in 2028, despite reassurances from the officials that the delayed contract process would still deliver the vessels from that date onwards. Another major concern was a 12-month delay in the entry into service of the first Type 26 frigate, now also not expected until 2028. Meanwhile, the number of hulls in service with the Royal Navy and Royal Fleet Auxiliary has been dwindling. In the years since Admiral Ray Dockin's speech, the RFA has seen the withdrawal from service of two Ford-class solid stores ships, as well as both wave-class tankers being placed in extended readiness. Moreover, in June 2021, the Royal Navy Escort Fleet fell to 18 following the decommissioning of HMS Monmouth. It will drop to 17 in 2023 with the decommissioning of HMS Montrose. 